for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for the month of May, and I'm going to read first about love. Aquarius, I think you had your ass handed to you in the last couple of relationships, and I think you're done with that. You don't want that to ha happen anymore. So I think you're going to be more selective and take your time, and that's super smart. Go with inside, you know, be marry yourself, so to speak. Uh, so th this is obviously for the single ones. Um, and even if you're in a relationship, you would have had issues with your partner telling you what you shoulda, coulda, woulda. And so this, those people in relationship are definitely working on things and I like what I'm seeing. So if you're married, things are good. If you're married, you'll be working on things. You are committed enough and caring enough to work on things with each other and to listen carefully to each other's needs. Perfect. You guys are good for one another. If you're in that happy relationship, stick it out. But those single ones, you honestly had your ass kicked. And I would say those would be probably the younger ones. The older Aquarians, I do see more of you uh, being connected and staying connected. Okay. So you once you get over that hump, that young uh, Aquarian age, once you get over that, I think you're going to find the right person and settle in a little better. So May itself is going to be sort of a healing and getting rid of whatever sort of stumped you in love. And now I see you um, dating more, having more fun, taking your time and not letting things burden you and not just not getting into um, a relationship quite r right away. OK, for those of you that are already married and already in relationships, I do see some of you having issues because of your kids got kids you're not on the same page when it comes to communicating and it comes to disciplining you have to have that conversation to make that work and it's going to be hard but you guys got this okay all right so now we're going to do health health for aquarius sun moon and ascendant for may i think you've been feeling better much better maybe you were dragging some extra weight or feeling a little low likely because your, your relationships weren't going in the direction you wanted them to. right so Aquarius again I, I am going to say that you've met up those single ones especially have met up with some pretty rotten signs anyways Queen of Pentacles is in reverse and this tells me that you've been meeting up with a lot of crazy people a lot of moody women a lot of moodiness a lot, and you've been trying to tolerate them and they're tough so the fact that you even did tolerate for long as you did, I'm going to give you, you know, some bonus points for that. But you escaped a bullet. Now, I think love really has helped you in a weird way change your course. You know, I think it's helped you a lot. That has increased your health. You know what I mean? It's helped your health. It's helped you be more confident and, and less stressed out. And I'd say you were gonna, you were having maybe uh, stomach problems, ulcers, um, bowel issues, um, just a lot of feeling sluggish, all of that. It's sort of a, a low-grade depression that I think you were dragging along. But because you've managed to uh, stay on your own a little bit, well, I think that's going to put everything back into shape for you so what should you be doing you should be getting out there and having uh, time maybe on a skateboard maybe on a what do you call the some sort of bike mountain bike or fast moving bike um, what else uh, scooters boxing uh, dancing anything that sort of makes you feel light light white sort of light okay that's what you want to do so that'll help your health improve big time. And if you've been, you know, if you've been full of rage, it's communicating about it. Don't hold it in. Do some writing, maybe. Do some journaling. That kind of thing will help you big time. Uh, but if you have had problems with your digestive system, it would be a good idea for you to check in as to why and eliminate those things that are causing you problems. The read for Aquarius money. Aquarius money. All right, Aquarius, you've probably been um, really frugal with your cash these days. Maybe you've had to sell everything you own just to be able to pay the bills. And that was the smartest thing you ever did because you also reduced, you reduced your expenses, you reduced your obligations, and you increased your funds by doing that. Smart person. Maybe you didn't want to do it, but you did it and you're doing it. And that's good because you saw what, the, what is more important. 
uh, you are sort of reducing your responsibilities and increasing your options to make money, increasing your time, increasing your focus, all of it around money can talk. I see some really good cards. So May is going to be a way better month for money, but you're still going to be frugal with your expenditures. So do that. Okay. Uh, you might be a little bit overworked for the month of May. Um, just for just for a little bit but you've got people around you that will help the, the main problem with you and work will be not having enough time to have fun and uh, I think that's just gonna take you juggling your time a little better okay and choosing your expenses better you know you might be you might be helping <laughs> looks so funny as my son is helping me do this and I'm a Leo and he's an Aquarius and you're probably going to be helping a, a Leo or Sagittarius or Aries woman Aquarius to help them and spend their money and that'll be nicer than you spending your money maybe like my son's helping me find a car so something like that okay so your money situation it's it's not in, it's not absolutely perfect yet but you're getting there Okay, so just be a little more frugal with your cash flow and um, keep your nose to the grind. You'll make your money, but May will be a busy month for you, okay? You're still working out, you know, sadness. Something something is still pulling at your heart. And it, it actually might even have to do a little bit with uh, some a leader in your life or someone who should be. It could be your father even. Something happened or with a father figure. Uh, but I think everything's going to be... If whatever's going on with your, your mother figure, I think it's going to be okay. Everything will work out. Um, but there could be some stuff coming up for you around um, your past hurts. And not with women, but maybe maybe people you trusted. Okay? Maybe people you trusted. So I do think you're going to be dealing with some of those things and helping a lot of people who have had so, you know, some hard times and you're going to be helping them. And that's really sweet of you. You're a good person. You're a kind person. Um, get out more. Have some fun. You've probably made a, a fairly significant move. And sometimes you like it and sometimes you don't. There's lots still yet to do to make your, your um, life the way you want it. But May is one of those months where you're going to be at it, nose to the, nose to the grind, getting her done. So it'll be fine. Everything will be fine.